Hello, uh, I'm going to do a video here uh, about uh, WACT support. Um, we can remote into your computer and I'm going to show you how that's done uh, right now. Um, I'm on a computer here um, and this will just be to show you how to do it. Um, all you need to do is open up a web browser. Obviously your computer needs to be turned on and connected to the internet uh, for this to work. Um, so any web browser, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Firefox, whatever. Um, as long as you can get in and download a program. Um, you're going to want to go to our web page, wacdllc.com. And once you do that, you will click the support tab right here. Um, and you'll see this little down here, little thing. You can click on it and ask us a question or say, hey, I'd like to... Uh, connect you to work on my computer. Um, we are $80 an hour, just so you know before that. Um, and if you need help at all, just click on that. Sometimes the tech will pop up and say, hey, do you need help? Um, so that's how you do that. So once you click support, it'll bring up this page here. And uh, once you've said, hey, I need help, um, you will be given a six digit code. Once you do that, you will put in your six digit code here and you want to click start download. Um, yes, I would like to run this program to install it. That way a tech can work on my computer. I need to say I have permission to install it. Yes, I would like to install. At this point you may choose to close out of your web browser as the program here is installing. Uh, so now it's saying that the tech, I'm waiting on the tech now. At this point you will see this one window come up and you do have 25 seconds to say okay to allow the tech in um, you may have a, a another window before this pop up and asking you to allow them to remote in so you're going to want to click OK so once you've done that the tech can remote into your computer um, and that's really all you need to do for the basics of remoting in um, and in a second I'll show you some more Okay, so now you can see this. Um, I'll show you how to how a calling card looks and what a unattended access is in a second. Okay, so now you can see that the unattended is here. Um, this is saying, hey, I'd like to have permission. Um, sometimes the tech will just click this himself once he has control. Um, but this is for you to choose. Um, you do have a limited amount of time to say okay. So once you say OK, you'll see that this shows it's been enabled. And you can click on this. This is the saying unattended access. Uh, you can click on it and say quit, revoke um, to do that. And this is your calling card here. You'll click on that. It's going to check for updates, say continue. You'll want to type in your name. Uh, so whatever, so we know who you are. Are you in Warsaw? What? And what's your issue? Uh, I'm just going to say I'm setting up my computer. And then you'll click connect. Um, and then you'll follow through the same steps uh, that we did before after you're installed. So connect, it's connecting. Um, so that's the basics of that. Um, so now you know you have unattended access. Uh, if you see this little icon down here, and this is called the calling card. If, you, if we ask you if you have those and you see that, let us know. Uh, if not, you'll have to go up to the web page so we can get the software installed for you. And that is uh, how we remote into your computer.